Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone these letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after english all this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website, edvforme.org, and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends' and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know, so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and don't forget to add in your full address and what country you're from and we will send you out a free Bible, free shipping, anywhere on earth, just for you. And folks, if you love watching videos about dreams and visions, dealing with the end times, the rapture resurrection event coming up soon, and the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to restore the earth, this is a channel you want to subscribe to. This is the channel you want to follow. Hit that subscribe button. Try us out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Folks, today we're getting into some dreams dealing with the New World Order takeover. And dreams and visions are basically telling us, hey, this is what they're doing, this is what they're going to be doing right before the tribulation begins and during the tribulation period. So if you see it here in the dream, then just do the math. <laughs> We're on the verge of semi-tribulation. You know, the Bible talks about only so much. You know, the Bible covers just about everything, but you know, there's something about dreams and visions that gives us more details about what the new world order is doing. Like for example, we've had dreams that talk about how they're gonna use drones. All right, have little tiny drones with the little bullets and scanners and do stuff like that. And they're gonna be, you know, flying around and taking people out or, you know, arresting people, finding people, you know, whatever they're gonna be doing, drones, okay. Are drones in the Bible? Nope. So little things like that. You know, the Bible doesn't talk about that, but we do see them here in dreams and visions. That's what's so great about dreams and visions. That's why they're so important. Okay, first you got the Bible, and that's that's the end all be all, the Bible. Okay. But you know, dreams and visions are very helpful. Okay. You know, dreams and visions here shows that there will be a mass invasion of Chinese and Russian troops. Here in America, that starts from the north, comes down from Canada. Does the Bible, you know, specifically lay that out? No, it doesn't. But we do see it here in Dreams and Visions. I've been watching it here 
for the last, you know, 10 years. You know, they're going to set up missile batteries from Canada, launch their missiles over here, you know, and then they're going to be shooting stuff off from submarines and all kinds of stuff. All right. The Bible doesn't talk about that. Of course, the Bible does talk about the collective event of it. And I believe that's also wrapped up in the four trumpet judgments as well, more than likely. But we will see how that plays out from heaven as we're looking down from the balcony on the earth. So why don't we get into one of these dreams here? This first one here is from Ryan. Ryan says, the dream I had started as normal. Family all at home, working together on some sort of project. I'm guessing for my little sister's school. Then some sudden event destroys all peace and society collapses. Hmm. For the first part of the dream, people are being hunted by some large wild cat like creature about the size of a panther or jaguar. People were dying everywhere. If they survived for the period of time, an hour or so, they are safe. Then the dream shifts. I was no longer at the house and I was in a car. I was in a hurry to escape to a safer destination as the places I previously lived were no longer safe. Then I saw a very large reptilian-like object being transported by railroad. It looked like it was a mile long. Then the dream shifted to driving on the freeway where I found massive pileups on each side of the freeway. There were many accidents that caused many deaths. And lastly, before the dream ended, all the lights on the cars went out, then cars lost control, and then the dream ended with the car I was in flipped over many times. So you got a lot going on in this dream here, but basically I'll cover some of the main points. Ryan says here, in one day, the whole earth just collapses. Society, the way life has been running up to that point just simply collapses. And that can only be through the rapture resurrection event. Okay, the tribulation is just ongoing destruction, 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 boom, 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 boom. It's just crazy. But there's only one day when everything's fine and everything just goes straight to hell in the handbasket. Super intense. In the instant, everything just goes straight to hell. And that will be the rapture resurrection event that will cause that. So I believe that's what we're looking at here. The rapture took place. And then all of a sudden, the creatures were going about the land killing people and i believe that too the bible talks about how people will die from the beasts of the field the book of revelation so you may have creatures that are just elevated just want to kill humans who knows how that's all going to work out this panther or gigantic cat was going around killing people you know if you're living in a city you may not deal with that but those who are living out in the uh, woods and stuff like that who knows what's going to happen to all these animals? Demon possession? I've seen that before. You remember seeing that TV show where these two lions were going about killing people, not hunting prey. They're just hunting people as a group, two male lions. They, male lions don't do that. You know, they don't hunt together, let alone hunt people only. All right. But these lions were doing that, and they believe that these lions are demon-possessed. So will we be looking at beasts of the field being demon-possessed, killing people? Why not? It is the tribulation period. All bets are off the table. And then the dream shifts. He ends up going to a railroad crossing where there is a gigantic long train carrying a gigantic reptilian-type animal. My guess would be a snake. Um, I remember Bill Weiss's 23 Minutes in Hell. If you read his book, he talks about the snake being the size of a locomotive train going through hell and slithers through hell. Gigantic, huge snake. So, you know, creatures coming up onto the surface of the earth, torturing human beings. Um, Revelation 9.3 talks about that. And uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but once again, I'm not going to be here for it. And finally, he talks about at the end of this dream, everybody were driving in their cars, all the cars' lights went out, people were driving in pitch black, and they all crashed. I've had that dream before. I was going up a, a ramp, like a, like a overpass, and I had my phone up 
on this platform here. All the lights are turned on and all the lights of all the cars is turned off. My lights turned off, my phone turned off. That right there I believe is a EMP event. Could have been from the Rapture Resurrection event that causes it or maybe an EMP attack. And can that be something that happens before the tribulation? I'm starting to think now that an EMP attack, I mean, taking, you know, the Bible talks about where the peace is taken from the earth in the instant, just like you had in this dream here, okay? And an EMP attack will do that instantly. Everything just shuts down. Everything, everything that we've come to know how we do life here completely shuts down. That will be taking peace from the earth. Hey friends, do you have great zeal for the Lord? Are you excited about the upcoming Rapture Resurrection event? Are you interested in increasing the number of those who will be saved and will be caught up out of here when this event takes place? And on top of all that, being rewarded for this work at the Bema Seat Judgment. If that's you, listen up. We have been doing Christian missions now for almost 10 years, and we have built a very extensive worldwide network of missionaries, teachers, and evangelists, pastors, and people assisting them who are preaching the gospel of grace to new believers and are moving all the humanitarian relief aid and free Bibles and everything as they continue to preach this gospel of grace throughout third world countries. As you can tell, everything is in place. You don't have to do a single thing except provide the seed. And just let me explain what we do. We go into these areas of people who have never heard the gospel before and I'm talking about areas that are hard to reach. Remote areas, villages, jungles, areas outside of the cities that society has forgotten about and forsaken. We reach these areas and we provide food, blankets, clothing, hygiene products, humanitarian relief aid of all sorts depending on what's needed. And once we get everybody up to speed with what they need, I'll tell you what, that changes the tune of a lot of people in these places. When you provide aid to them, they are very willing to listen to your message that will follow it. And from this, we have been seeing countless numbers of people coming to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And for these people, we give them their own free Bible in their own native language that our missionaries purchase locally in their countries or a King James for all the English readers. And from this point, we continue to teach them, lead them, and guide them moving forward. Are you ready to make a difference in God's kingdom today? React right now to that pull in your spirit. Stop what you're doing because Satan is going to distract you now. Trust me. Go to our website, feedmysheeptoday.org. The link is below. There you can give by PayPal, credit card, bank draft, or just send your gift in the mail. Do you want to make a big impact right now but can't afford to do so? I got a simple answer for you. Just become a monthly sustainer. We greatly need more monthly sustainers. And the great benefit about this position is you can set it and forget it. Now, this whole thing is working on your behalf and you can focus on other things in the kingdom. Your seed will automatically be invested into God's kingdom on a monthly basis. How many new believers can you say that you were responsible for, for leading to the Lord last year and giving a free Bible to? How would you like to be responsible for 36 new salvations this year and also give them a free Bible? Well, you can do that with simply ten dollars a month so that's there for you please consider joining our easy feed monthly sustainer family we would be so happy to welcome you in so friends all the links are in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel feed my sheep today it's also our backup channel by the way there you'll be able to keep track of your investment in this great work thank you all so much for your much needed support May God bless you all. Thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support. We're almost finished, everybody. Things are really wrapping up now. There's a lot going on around the world right now. And the time window is closing now to make a difference in God's kingdom, to build the body of Christ before the body of Christ is removed from the earth. 
So how much do you want to have represented at the beam of seed? How many precious stones, gold and silver, do you want to send up to heaven and have recorded in heaven from the work that you're doing down here right now? And I'll tell you what, these works deal with people. Somehow, some way, either you pray for people or you are making provisions like donating or going out there and doing the work yourself, reaching people. There is no reward in going to your church and mopping the floor. There is no reward for that or painting the side of the building or going out there and paving the parking lot. There is no reward for that. That's wood, hay, and stubble. When Jesus addresses the sheep and the goats, we get a taste of what those works are. Jesus addresses them about how they either fed or did not feed other people. How they gave water to drink or they did not give water to drink to other people. Or they visited people in prison or how they did not visit people in prison. You get the idea. And he said, what you have done unto the least of them, you have done unto me. Okay, so that right there shows you that's where all the gold, silver, and precious stones are. That's where the work counts. Okay, so even Apostle Paul says you can build with wood, hay, and stubble, or you can build with precious stones, gold, and silver. Okay, and even the Bible refers to us in the book of Peter as living stones. Jesus is the cornerstone. And God also refers to Israel, the Israelites, as precious jewels, okay? So you get the idea. And here at Feed My Sheep Today, that's all we do. We don't do the light shows. We don't do the big buildings. We don't do any of that stuff. We take all the money that comes in, and we invest it into the missionaries' work, and we are reaching areas that people have written off, people don't want to go to because too far out of the way, too deep in the jungle, we are reaching those areas now. And it's because of your support. And great in heaven will your rewards be for supporting this work. I'm just telling you right now. If God's tugging at your heart, please don't ignore it. Just see what he wants you to do. Because I'm sure he wants to bless you greatly at the beam of seat. For the work that has accomplished here at Feeding My Sheep today. So thank you all so much for your support. And may God bless you all. Alright, let's get into this next dream here. This next one is from Britain. Britton goes on to say here, as I was walking in the parking lot of my workplace, suddenly there was a violent shaking of the earth. Stars were visible in the daylight sky and they were shooting past the earth almost as if the earth was knocked out of orbit. I heard some screams of people around me and watched as they ran for safety under vehicles and buildings. I left my truck and I saw mountains that appeared to be made of some sort of marble erupting from the ground. And on top of the mountains were idols, but not of pagan gods or anything like that, but politicians, athletes, and entertainers. Their images were carved on the top of these marble mountains into statues. Then, as I was driving, I saw a white cloud descending to the ground with a bearded man dressed in white with a crown on top of his head on top of the cloud. He was descending to the earth on some sort of platform like cloud. I knew looking upon him that this man was not Jesus. As I gazed upon the man, I heard yelling coming from my left side. And when I turned to see what it was, I saw an army of Chinese soldiers running down the road past me with their weapons in hand. I'm a saved Christian, and I do not think this will be my future, but maybe a warning of some sort. I don't really know. What do you make of it? Great dream here, Britain. Now, the first thing he sees here is a violent shaking of the earth. Now, where does that take place at? The sixth seal. That's basically the sixth seal is when God shakes the earth and say, Hey, I'm about to open the seventh seal, which is my wrath. So get ready, because here it comes. Okay, that's what the sixth seal is for. And he says the stars were visible in the daylight sky, and they were shooting past the earth. So what does this mean? Was the earth knocked out of its orbit? Was the earth spinning really fast? Okay, uh, the Bible talks about how the stars will fall from heaven. Now, the stars are not going to fall from heaven. You know, they are balls of gas burning billions of miles away, okay? 
They look like stars to us. They're not all going to fall to the earth. They're all going to collide and cause a gigantic explosion. So what are these stars falling from heaven? One, they are the fallen angels getting kicked down to the earth. One. Two, it could also be all the satellites in the atmosphere and all the space junk going around the earth being removed from the first heavens and being cast down to the earth. Trust me, Jesus is not going to have that stuff floating around in space when he sets up his millennial reign here. So all those satellites, which how many we got up there? I think uh, after uh, Starlink is completed, like 20,000, something like that. That's a lot of satellites. When they come down, they look like stars. And when they go up, they look like stars. What do you guys think about that? Okay, obviously they're not going to be stars heading towards the Earth. <laughs> okay, because that would be catastrophic. Okay, so they're not going to be literal stars. The stars in heaven fall into the Earth. That's not going to be the case. Now he goes on to say here, he saw these marble figures coming up from the mountains that look like our modern day idols okay so these modern day idols you know this this is what's happening right now these people are looked at as idols and they will be judged by god just like all the other idols in the past okay this is the reason why they're called stars why because according to my bible stars fall okay these professional athletes, these Hollywood elite, my goodness. I mean, they are just, you know, <laughs> Trump really, you know, took the veil off these guys, man. And it totally exposed them for who they are. So these idols will be destroyed. And then he sees a bearded man coming down from heaven. And this bearded man obviously is the Antichrist. It could also be a false prophet, but my money is the Antichrist. Coming down, descending from heaven, okay. It could be also Project Blue Beam making something look like that. And then when he lands and some guy comes up behind a rock looking like him, hey, I just came down from heaven. You know, it could be that way too. All right, I don't think the Antichrist would be that good where he can float down from the sky maybe. Well, maybe he is, I don't know. Um, but be it as it may, uh, the Antichrist is going to have plenty of help from the dragon to make him look good. So that way he can sell the whole concept of him being the Messiah for the world. Okay. And then he goes on to say here, he saw these Chinese soldiers coming down the street, holding weapons, running right past him. So now, obviously, he's seeing this in a third person type of uh, setting you know he's just observing what's going on and I talked about this before dreams and visions where there will be a massive invasion of Chinese and Russian soldiers on American soil they'll comb the entire country after the rapture after everybody kills themselves and wipes each other out according to the Albert Pike's letters where they're all tired of fighting and killing each other and using their own bullets against each other. China's not going to come in when everybody's fresh and ready to fight. No, they're going to wait till we all use up all of our bullets and kill each other and do all the work for them. And then they'll come in here and comb the entire country, you know, taking out the stragglers. So, so everybody, please comment. Let me know what you guys think about these dreams. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to? Or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database 
that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device.